morning there YouTube brothers and sisters I'm gonna play a little game the quick one two threes for um, how to get to heaven because um, basically it's a one two three sort of a thing right first you got to uh, believe that Jesus was the son of God that he died was buried and raised three days later from the dead as the scripture said and you're saved it says and that is 1st Corinthians 15 1 to 4 so let's just read it <clears throat> 1 Corinthians 15, 24. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel, which I preached unto you, which you also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you the first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures that's the basic gospel you believe that is true it says you're saved okay that's the gospel so first you got to believe the story then it says You have to trust. Mm, I'm not going to be able to find it now. I should be ready when I do these things, you guys. Oh, I hope you like me, because otherwise you're already gone. We should be in Romans, right? Romans 10, verse 9. that if well here let's start at eight but what saith it the word is nigh thee even in thy mouth and in thy heart that is the word of faith which we preach faith right trusting that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the lord jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that god has raised him from the dead thou shalt be saved for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So there you go. There you go. Um, technically, just believing, you're supposed to say with your mouth. You know, you're supposed to admit it. Believe it. <laughs> right? And then say it with your mouth. Jesus Christ is the Lord. He is the Son of God. If you believe it in your heart and you say it with your mouth you're saved you're saved that's salvation for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness so with your heart you believed unto righteousness you're imputed Jesus Christ's righteousness <clears throat> and with the mouth confession made unto salvation right I confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord It is finished. <laughs> right? Right? All right. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That's Romans. Right? <clears throat> And we got John. Oh my goodness, John. Hey. Let's start somewhere in John 3 16. This is God. This is Jesus saying that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. 
For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. <coughs> <coughs> It's just that easy. I love you guys. All y'all. Whoever you are, this new person that just happened to flip on this video and if you've made it through five minutes of me reading, I love you guys. You know, it's just so easy to join the kingdom of heaven, which is at hand. We're there. We're in a global <laughs> lockdown, guys. One world religion coming in. Monetary system going digital. No cash society. Sound familiar? It's here at the end of this book I'm reading right now. We're there. And it's so easy to join me in heaven with a whole bunch of other wild, crazy people. Abraham, King David, right? I mean, I can't even imagine how many people are going to be in heaven. It's going to be insane. And if you read scriptures, it sounds like you know who each other are. So you just know. Like the rich man... And Lazarus' story, he instantly, the rich man, he just looked over and went, Oh, why is he in Abraham's bosom? How would he know who Abraham is? They didn't exactly have internet back then. They, it's not like he carried a picture of Abraham around. Hmm. Guess you just know, right? And it's so easy. You trust that Jesus Christ, that man they talked about in Nazareth, born in Nazareth of a, of a Virgin Mary... You know, that whole story. If you believe that, that it's true, that he did that. He was, he died on that cross. He bled and paid for our sin debt. Then he died. And he was buried and raised again. Three days later, as the scripture said. If you believe that to be truth, and you say it with your mouth, that's truth. Jesus Christ is the Lord. You call out to him right now. You are saved. That's it over you're going to heaven you're not going to get judged for all of your sins your sins are forgiven they're paid for on that cross do you deserve this no none of us do that's called grace that's grace defined right there because none of us deserve this <clears throat> Jesus Christ, his one and only begotten son that he gave to save the world, lived a sinless life, not even in thought, sinless, and paid the ultimate horrible death on top of the cup of God's wrath to pay for all of our sins, you guys, so that if we believe on him, we too can be saved even though we don't deserve it. We didn't do anything to deserve it, and we don't have to do anything to deserve it, because we cannot do anything to deserve it. It's simply God's grace through our faith in Christ alone. That's it. He did it all on the cross that day, you guys. It is finished. Believe on Jesus Christ as the Lord. Profess it with your lips. Don't be ashamed. You're now, if you believe in Christ, the child of God. There's nothing to be ashamed of. You've been adopted into God's family under His Son. The rest of your life is your walk with God. Don't quit it. Don't quit it. Because it's... It's the whole rest. If you're not with God, 
whether they mean to be or not, they're against God, right? So you'll have some opposition in life, but there's always opposition in life, right? And eternal heaven over eternal damnation, shame and contempt for all eternity, knowing, oh man, I just needed to believe. Hmm. So, I love you all. I'm gonna keep it short, and uh, hopefully this even uploads. My tablet's not working half the time on half my videos, so or it uploads and there's no sound or it freezes or I don't know. All right, guys, I love you all and hope you have a great day. God bless.